channel the daily wine so today we are going to be trying this bottle of wolf blast blast it's like chuck bass from gossip girl so we'll go wolf blast chardonnay it's from australia it's 2019 mm. it's meant to taste of peach melon and stone fruits stone fruits what does that mean Stone fruits. Oh, I guess fruits with stones in. Yeah, I'm not being funny though. A plum is very different tasting to a peach. That's a dumb thing to put on a bottle, in my opinion. I haven't had it before. I don't think I really like Chardonnay. I did a Chardonnay video not so long ago. I don't really like Chardonnay. However, I will judge it on its taste. You know, it's my opinion. Once again, if you like Chardonnay, maybe you'll like this. But I don't think I really like Chardonnay. What does it smell like? It smells very fruity to be fair. I usually expect Chardonnay to be a bit more dry. So this does smell very fruity. So I'm not mad about that at all. It's 13.5%. Oh, I see that now makes me like it much more. I've just filmed another video as well. So I'm going to be off one's trolley by the time I finish filming. Cause I'm hoping to do a couple more if I've got more wine in the cupboard. I don't know if I have. I can't remember how much this one was. Obviously when I put it on the wine scorecard that comes up up there, I'll do it as portions per full size bottle, not per mini bottle because who's really gonna buy a mini bottle, you know? I bought this for the purposes of the video. Feel a bit sad that I haven't got a bigger bottle, but it is what it is. Let's give it a go. I am pleasantly surprised. <coughs> Roll out. <coughs> oh, I don't know. <coughs> oh, I just coughed on weed. I just coughed on weed. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I just coughed on weed. I think it was only a little bit though, because I think I haven't gone through to the bed. But there's, there's definitely urine in my pants right now. It happens, Perry. I'm a woman. It happens. So a little bit of urine. Oh, <clears throat> that's better. Oh yeah, I'm. my dog is with me as well. Say hi, Stan. Say hi. Hey, there's my baby boy. There's my filming setup. Got something to say as well. He's being a good boy, actually. Although now I've started choking, he's now sniffing my wine bottle. So please leave me alone. Let's give this a go again. That tastes a little bit like chestnuts. I like that. Mm. It's got like a really nutty flavour. I guess that's maybe what they mean by like stone fruit. Stupid woman. Maybe it means like nutty as well. It might not, but it feels like it does to me. Yeah, that's really, really nice. But I would buy that again, and I wouldn't usually buy a Chardonnay more than once, but I would buy that again. What would I rate it out of 10? Mm. I think, you know, I think a solid. Ooh. Because this one's got no ice in it, and it's still nice and it's not cold either. That's a nine out of 10 right there. That is delicious. Not that dry, not that bitter. Like just a good taste in wine. I've been putting this wine off as well because I didn't think it looked like it's gonna taste nice. But yeah, no, really good. Nine out of 10, very, very well done. Wolf Blast. I'm impressed. So next, what we're going to be doing guys is something I've been trying to film for ages. So basically, we're going to be filming a comparison of some Lucky Dip clothing things that I've bought from website. So they sell like little clothing packages where you can do a Lucky Dip and you don't know what you're gonna get. There was meant to be a third one showing up, but it took over a week to show up, but it didn't show up. It took over a week for me to finally contact them to say, where is my parcel? My parcel had got lost. So instead of uh, sending out a new one or putting in like an inquiry into it, they just said, would you like a refund? I said, no, 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 I'll take the other parcel. It's for a YouTube video. And then I got a message a few days later saying, oh, sorry, we've accidentally just refunded you. So I don't know whether they ever wanted to send it out to me or if they ran out of stock and just didn't want to say so. Because usually they put in like an inquiry, don't they, when your parcel gets lost? And they didn't, they just immediately said, oh, do you want a refund? So yeah, I was waiting for another one, but I've only got two this time. So we're going to be doing a comparison of Lucky Dips 
from La Sula and from Femlux. Now I've ordered from Femlux before, so I know that I do like their clothes. However, I've ordered from their Lucky Dip before and had a couple of same same items. So yeah, I think they were both around the seven pound mark. I think six ninety nine maybe more let me have a look on the invoices but we'll open them up first just to see so for la sula it was 3.99 shipping and two items in the lucky dip for six pounds so three pound per item which isn't too bad for Femlux, lux it was seven pound 98 for two items each item of lucky dip was 3.99 and I think the shipping was around the same as well. So I haven't paid more than about 12 quid for either of them, which is really, really good. And like I say, I was waiting on the third one as well, but it hasn't shown up, which is fine. We can just compare the two. So let's start with Femlux. My first item. Oh, ooh, a pair of jogging bottoms. They're cute. Oh my God. They look great. I should say how it works, by the way. To do the Lucky Dip, you basically, you pick your size in or you pick your size. I know some places that you do it, you can choose what kind of items you get. So you can say like, do you want this, do you want this? But I think you have to pay more for Lucky Dips like that. These were just the cheapest Lucky Dips I could find because I am quite poor. And they send you out just some items at random that are either discontinued or are in the sale or something like that. So yeah, that's how it works. What have you got? My dog's just started to eat my scrunchie. So these are a size 14. They look like they're gonna fit. They're stretchy. They look amazing. The quality feels good as well. They're really soft on the inside. They're just plain black. But I need like a pair of plain black ones because I'm currently wearing these white fluffy things that used to be white, but they're not white anymore. So yeah, I need a new pair of jogging bottoms. Really nice. I'm really impressed with those. Excellent first choice. So yeah, that's what they look like. The stitching. All seems really good as well. There's no loose threads coming off anywhere. They're cuffed at the bottom, which is nice, and just tight around the top as well. So, yeah, really, really nice first item. Next up from Femlux is it's white. I like white things, but I'm not very good at keeping them clean. Oh, it's a dress. Oh, that's kind of cute though. So it's like a little white dress. It crosses over at the front. It's like a midi dress, I would say. And it's got a little belt that you tie around the waist as well. So that's what the skirt's like. That is very, very sweet. That would be lovely to go to dinner in. Again, the material feels very, very soft. It's got like a bit of overlay here so that you can't see your nipples through it because obviously you wouldn't really wear a bra with it because it's so low cut up. Not too see-through. It feels like a thick, like, oi, oh. Dog just picked up the wine bottle. It feels like a thick kind of, I can't remember what's the word, like crepe material, is that what it's called? Crash? I can't remember what the material's called, but it feels like quite thick and nice. And it looks really good quality. Like neither of these items have come dirty or anything. And the stitching is good on both of them. I love the sleeve on this. I think that is so sweet. A little puffy sleeve, just to like puff up your shoulders a little bit, just to stop the white dress being so plain and boring. So yeah, I really, really like that. Well done Femlux, two items that I like and I really like that they've mixed up what you get. I've got a dress and a jogging bottom, I haven't got two winter items, I haven't got two summer items, it's very nice. Good start. Next up guys is from La Sula. So the first item we've got is mustard yellow. I like the colour yellow, it's probably my favourite colour but, oh I have pink, but it's like mustard yellow. It is a cardigan shirt thing? It's like this, that's quite cute to be fair. It's like a cardigan cross blazer with a little belt on it. Again, the material. this material feels very similar to the white thing I just opened from the sealer. So it doesn't feel bad at all, the stitching's good. It's just like a plain straight sleeve with a little like belt made of the same material. I wouldn't pick this out if I went to a shop, I wouldn't pick this out, but I think you can probably style it out quite nicely, especially for winter. If you're layering it up with like a dark coat maybe, and like a scarf and some boots and like dark clothing, I think this could look really nice. So yeah, it's nice. I don't know that I would choose it, but I do like it. And I think it would look cute like zhuzhed up with an autumny winter outfit. So yeah, not too shabby. Now the last item is black. Is a weird material. Oh no. Oh my 
my good what is this this is like a ball gown oh no i don't know what this is this feels very heavy this is like a oh my i think this one might be a a bit big in the chest area because i have not got much of a chest area so it's like a black dress with like a slit at the side and the front so it's a bit like tunicky style this bit comes apart of the dress and there's two slits on either leg it doesn't seem too see-through it seems well made it's like lacy at the front if this was my size i'd probably like it but i feel like it just looks really big i feel i may have chosen the wrong size in this because that is quite big looking to be fair they didn't have any in my size so i just ordered the closest to my size and it was a 22 or an 18 so i ordered an 18 so that's probably my fault but yeah not a bad dress if the boobs weren't so far apart like the whole boobs i can fit both of my boobs in like i mean to be fair both my boobs fit in one boob area <laughs> So this is not really feasible for me, but it is quite cute and it does feel well made. Now, where would I order from again if I was going to? Probably Femlux. I know that I like their clothes. I know that La Sula is a bit of a plus, more of a plus size store. So they, they likely only have larger items left usually, whereas Femlux has a bit more of a range. However, both of the clothes are really well made. This isn't see-through either. It looks a little bit see-through, but I don't think you notice at all too much if you're going out at night to be fair but yeah not too shabby of a haul i don't think and i would definitely say if you are a little bit of a bigger size try ordering from the sula because this feels like it's meant to cost like 30 40 quid you definitely get your money's worth it's just whether it fits you or not but for me personally i would order from femlux i like the jogging bottoms and i like the white dress the other these two items from the sula i wouldn't have necessarily ordered for myself but i like them nonetheless it's just the problem that they're not my size so yeah that's my opinion on them both. And that concludes our La Sula versus Femlux segment. Obviously, I would pick Femlux. Let me know in the comments, guys, which one you would pick, which one you preferred, and what was your favourite item out of all four? I think for me, to be honest, I have never thought I'd say this. I think it's the jogging bottoms. I need a new pair of joggers, so I'm very happy that I've got those. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed. And remember, guys, all for wine and wine for all. Peace! This is like floor length, by the way, so I'm gonna look like a goddess. I just got lipstick on it.